great commission that he has given us to share the gospel abroad, to taking the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ to the four corners of uh, the world. And so um, just a question for those that may have uh, the, the, the question of, you know, am I a missionary? Am I called to be a missionary? I feel like this urging where I uh, want to, to minister the gospel. Um, it could be very informal, like I'm doing just on YouTube or just on social media or to go uh, out of the state or even out of the country. Uh, what would you say to uh, that person uh, that may be inspired by a person like me that's, you know, gone on a couple of mission trips or the person that persons that are inspired by you, who is a well-traveled man traveling for close to 50 years? Uh, what would you teach them or what would you have to say to them? Amen. Well, I, <clears throat> I would start by um, we would have to really go straight to the word of God. Mm -hmm. I, I could give you my personal opinion. I could give mm -hmm. you my personal, uh, you know, um, but but I, I think the word of God is a better place to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to, to find those answers to. Uh, and particularly that question, uh, you know, because um, it, it's right there for us. Um, one, one of the things that Jesus did when he came, right? We, we know that he came to teach and to 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 um, to actually die on the cross for, for you and I, right? That was part of his mission. But but that piece of teaching, um, <clears throat> he, he was he was really teaching and laying out the the format uh, for uh, uh, for when he's when after he departed or after he was to depart, he was he was going to teach his disciples, uh, you know how uh, to carry on the work. All right, and so 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 you got to really look at what he said to them when he was um, actually calling them. To be to, to to follow him and 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 you know over in uh, I believe it's it's Mark you can find it there in the first chapter around the 17th 18th verse you know and he says come follow me and I will make you to become fishers of men you, you I just want that to I want that to rest in your spirit this is when he's first assembling his twelve you know you know, the 12, the 12, the 12, you know, to, 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 that he was going to pour into, amen. He said, come follow me and I will make you to, or teach you, I will instruct you to become fishers of men. Now, why is that so vitally important? Because, you know, the, you know, some of them were skilled fishermen, right? They had an occupation and they knew how to do their job well, because if they didn't, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't have lasted in that profession. And so they were, they were skilled fishermen, but he says, I'm, I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to teach you not just to fish for fish. No, I'm going to teach you how to fish for men. And now, 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 now then you got to look at my God, you got to look at, uh, then who, who did he, what you know, look at the 12 that he rounded up. He didn't go down to the university to, to get the most learned, he didn't go get the ones that had degrees, you know, that was well decorated and had degrees hanging on the wall behind them. Amen. He, he got the ones that you probably would have least expected for him to go grab. My goodness, he goes and gets fishermen. Well, you know, if you hung around fishermen for a little time, you know, I mean, you know, the saying goes that, man, you're cussed like a sailor. But there are certain things that go on down there on the wharf, down there, you know, amongst the fishermen. But here he finds himself getting those. And then he goes, gets a tax collector, you know, and and and, and, and they weren't too well liked. What, what am I trying to say? You know, sometimes we feel that we can't and we don't measure up. But if you feel like that, I want to tell you tonight that 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 you are well qualified. You know, I don't care what your life may have been. I don't care what you might have been into. But 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 see, 
when you come to Christ, you know, uh, the Bible says that old things are passed away and behold, all things have become new. I want you to know that you're qualified tonight. And God has, has already positioned you. So he said, come and I'm going to teach you how to do this. Well, then he spent those, those next years instructing and teaching them. Amen. And, and if you notice, my brothers and sisters, you know, if you notice here, it says it, it, he didn't say, I'm going, if you come follow me, I'm going to make you well known. I'm going to, I'm going to, man, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're, you're going to lead a, you know, you'll become a, a great pastor and, and you'll lead a great congregation. Uh, you, you might become this or that. He said, just come follow me and I'm going to teach you how to fish for men. And so, so, so he, he, he said, you know, I'm going to teach you this one thing. And I, I believe it. he didn't want to get people all confused, you know, you know, you know, may, 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 maybe, maybe you see, well, up here in Virginia, you know, some people join the church and then they spend the next two or three years trying to, trying to figure out, you know, what ministry they're supposed to, they're supposed to join. Oh, they're supposed to get plugged into. You know, maybe it doesn't happen down there, but it happens up here. What am I saying? See, he said, I'm going to teach you how to do this one thing, but do it well. Why? Because see, he understood that his father, you know, had 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 a love for his people and, and, and because of sin had separated, you know, his people from him. He says, well, I, I'm going to send my son. He's going to die in, in your place. But but before he does, he's going to teach you how to go after those that are lost. And so so he, he he taught and instructed and then and then and then look at this look at this uh, uh, Miss Benton, you know when he got ready to depart, you will notice in the Word of God, you know uh, it's found you know in several places, but we'll go to Matthew twenty uh, twenty eight, you know you know known as the Great commission you know then he 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 he, he, he you know in 16 he tells his 11 disciples you know um you know uh then the 11 disciples left for galilee going to the mountain where jesus had told them to go amen see they you know there's something about when you follow christ and and you know you know you you're really not your own you know he he he, he leads us. You know, the Bible says, and my sheep shall know my voice and they shall follow. Amen. David picked it up and said, the Lord is my shepherd in whom I shall not want. He leads me beside. Anyway, you know, so, 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 so here the disciples find themselves going to the place that Jesus had instructed them to go. Amen. And, 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 and let me just pause real quick. See, you see, you know, the only way, let me say it, let me say this, the only way that you can get out or get away from uh, 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 this missionary call or being a missionary or being uh, uh, one that, that, that will, will go after and fish for men is that you cannot be a follower of Christ. See, 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 but if you are a follower of Christ, he said that I'm going to, he was going to instruct you and teach you how to do this. So, so the only way that you can say, well, no, you know, the missionary work isn't for me. You know, I'm, I'm more for the choir, you know, no, I think God is leading me just for, you know, just, you know, just to serve on the usher board or, or, or just to, you know, uh, you know, I, you know, I, I deal with children or no, 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 no. If you are a follower of Christ, you know, you may do all those other things, ladies and gentlemen, but fishing for men is our number one top priority. And why, why do I say it's our number one top priority? Because see, 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 here Jesus is getting ready to depart. In other words, he, he was laying out his final instructions. And if you've ever been around somebody that, you know, is, is, is getting ready to transition, you know, uh, from this world to, 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 to be with the Lord, you know, well, the, the, the last thing that they generally say is the most important thing that concerns them. Am I talking to anyone?
And so here, here Jesus is getting ready to depart. He had already predicted his departure, and now he's giving these final instructions. And and, and so, so, so here the disciples 